Church Graveyard Haunted Curse Can you think about it? Hello fellow bookquesters, it is I, Aaron the Bookquester. So today, I'm going to introduce you to this awesome book and happy Halloween guys. Wait till Helen comes. A first-rate thriller, a ghost story by Mary Downing Hahn, the author of Tuck. Seen a book question for that too. Anyway, let's get right on to it. The main characters are Molly, Michael, and Heather, and they have parents whose names are Jean and Dave. But the thing is, they aren't all their birth parents. You see, Jean had uh, with another husband. Molly and Michael, and her husband died of an accident. Dave had Heather with another woman, and that woman, Heather's mother, died in a fire. Now they're together. Jean and Dave had remarried, and now their children are together. Just the problem is that Heather is an absolutely spoiled, annoying little girl. Well, let's get into the details. You see, Dave and Jean, they have bought a church, a very old abandoned church, and it was nice. It had a little, it had little woods next to it with a little creek in it, with lots of bogs, which Michael loved. He wanted to be a naturalist, and it was great. But Heather, Heather was extremely annoying, and extremely. Extremely annoying to all the people and made their lives miserable. He also told tattletale lies about Molly and Michael when were when they were just trying to be nice. And Heather makes this things up, makes makes the, these things up. And Dave, our dear Dave, does nothing wrong, but he believes his Heather over the other children, Michael and Molly. And Heather, she gets them into trouble and makes Jean and Dave one start to hate and argue with each other. And they've moved to church, and of course, next to it, there is a graveyard. And in that graveyard, Heather found an old graveyard tombstone, and that stone had been covered by poison ivy, and it looked like it would there would be a good place. For snakes and danger, and it had only its initials on it, only initials on the on the little tombstone. And Heather, and it somehow coincidentally matched Heather's initials. And Heather, of course, every everyone, anyone would have been creeped out. I mean, like A L A L. That's my initials. And well, if that those initials were on the tombstone, that would really seriously creep me out. I mean, even if the name is insane, it really should creep anyone out. Meanwhile, Heather, she's a bit creeped out, but then she meets with the ghost, Helen. Helen, Helen is very similar to Heather. Hell, and they share one terrible experience that I will tell you when I'm done with the story. Molly, she finds out that Heather is communing with the ghost, and she even thinks that she sees a faint outline of this terrible ghost, Helen. And she thinks that every time Heather meets with Helen, she is in terrible danger. And Molly tries to warn Heather, but every time Heather pulls away, kicks her, screams, tattletales, lies to Dave and Jean, and she says, "Just wait, Molly, wait till Helen comes." With all the bitterness and spite that her little body could manage, and. It's kind of scary. That's why it's called a thriller. Hello, wake up, and Heather, and finally Molly. 
she starts to freak out. Of course, Michael, he doesn't believe Molly. Michael's a naturalist. He believes only in science and pro proven things. But Molly, she's scared of Heather and Helen. And she thinks that Helen is evil. And she thinks that things couldn't get much more worse. Until it does. When Helen comes. She wakes up to find her room has been ravaged. Her diaries, her things, her notebooks are ripped apart into thousands of pieces. But somehow, Heather's things hasn't been touched. Michael's room, all his little knickknacks, his bugs, his his um bug bug like pinnings and bug pictures, his bug books, his little you know dead bugs like on a frame. All his collection that he been that he's been gathering for years has been ripped apart, ruined, and destroyed. Jean, Jean, is a painter, and all her paints has been ripped into thousands of pieces, and the canvas is broken into a million pieces. But somehow Dave's things and Heather's things hasn't been touched at. Isn't that mysterious or what? And our dear Molly, the main character, sees the writing. The initials, Heather's initials, but also Helen's initials were on the wall. And it says, I have come. And then, as soon as she tries to tell her mother and father, well, Jean and Dave, the letterings disappear for anyone except Molly and Heather could see them. And Molly, she fears Helen, the terrible ghost. And then finally, one day, she starts, she hears these legends about Helen the ghost, who seems to lure kids, innocent little girls, into a deep pond where they die of drowning. And that deep pond is next to the Harper house, an old house where a little girl named Helen died in a fire over a hundred years ago. Very creepy, isn't it? And somehow, it's very unsettling, no one can prove it with science, that somehow Heather knows a lot, everything about Helen and the ghost and the Harper house. But she hasn't communed with anyone except Helen and her brothers and, and her family. Well, a few spiteful words, except that. Deadly. That is very, very scary, don't you think? And as we, we go deeper, finally, Helen tries to lure Heather to into the pond, into the water to drown her and keep her forever. Because... You see, Helen feels alone and cold, and she tells these girls of unicorns eating roses, dragon, elves, dwarves, magical worlds, and a glass tower, a crystal palace, and they will be princesses forever, except it's not true. And they are being tricked into entering the pond, and when they do, they usually die, drowning. But Molly, she knows that Heather is innocent, no matter how spiteful she is to her, and she rescued Heather. And they run away from the ghost, Heather, still screaming, trying to make Helen make her, take her to that magical enchanted world. They go into Harper's house, Harper house, where rain is beating down. And then, they fall down, and they find a cellar, and there they are the bones. The bones of the Heather, Helen's mother and father that were never recovered after the fire. And all is revealed what Helen and Heather has in common. Heather, she actually was playing with the stove when she was like three. And she, active, and she somehow made the fire. And that fire was the fire that killed her mother. It was an accident, but it was Heather's fault, nothing was. Helen, she knocked over an oil lamp, and it caught on fire and killed 
her mother and father. And that's what they had in common. That's why they could commune with each other so easily. That was the reason why Heather was so annoying and spiteful to the rest of the new family. And Heather. And finally, Molly knows why Heather has been so annoying and irritable. And she comforts Heather and finally, they have a sisterly bond. And the book ends with them finding those bones. And those bones, the ghosts of Helen's mother and father coming out and dancing with Helen, forgiving her of what she had done. After all, it was only an accident. And finally, Helen, her mother, and her stepfather, they rest in peace next to each other in the old graveyard. And Molly was no longer scared of the graveyard, because every grave was settled and into a peaceful and long death. And, and Heather... As for Heather, well, she told Dave about her burden, and they, of course, they forgave each other. After all, they are mother and mother, I mean, father and so, father and daughter, and the extended family has become at least a little bit better. For Heather is now nicer to Molly and Michael, and that is the end of the story. And it is a great book, an awesome thriller that really makes you think. What happens? when you die. And well, great book, a must read, and like always, your book quester, Aaron the book quester. Perfect for Halloween night, guys. Just be prepared to wet your beds. <laughs>